And Laura, he was so loved. The people drove from across Iowa and even from other states to say goodbye to the young boy who held a special place in their hearts. I hope you know how significant your presence is and how earthly you can be. As heartfelt words were shared. In my father's house. And meaningful hymns sung, it was hard to find someone at Michael Jaramillo's homegoing celebration who wasn't dressed in orange. Orange is Michael's favorite color, and um, so we, we've kind of asked everyone if they have orange to wear it. Within Pastor Shield's heart is a special place for Michael. Of the three brothers, Michael was the only one who would laugh at any of my jokes. He's the senior pastor of one of the churches the Jaramillo family attends in Cedar Rapids, which is where many people drove from on Saturday and shared their fondest memories of the 11-year-old. I said, Michael, why are you in the sanctuary? He said, I'm hiding from you. And I said, oh, okay. So one by one, people told stories of Michael. He had a light over him. I don't know if y'all seen him, but he had a light over him. And with each story shared, there was something in common, one characteristic of the 11-year-old that just couldn't be denied. That kid couldn't say anything that wasn't funny. Michael had a way of putting a smile on anybody's face. His mom and dad, still grieving, didn't speak on Saturday, but penned messages to a son they loved so deeply. One line saying, as parents, we cannot help but to be selfish. But we know we will see you again. Brothers and sisters. Families held their loved ones close. They wiped away tears as they grieved. But some found solace by the word shared by Michael's loved ones. We're heartbroken that the world has to go on without this young man. But we celebrate that for Michael, it means being in heaven forever. Pastor Shields did share an update on David Jr., Michael's brother, who was also critically injured in the accident. He says every day David Jr. is doing a little bit better. But he says right now they're praying for his eyes because most times lack of oxygen to a brain can cause blindness. Laura.